Who the f is that guy? <laughs> Who the f is that? <laughs> Who the f is that? <laughs> right here. Right here, the hardest hitting 145 pound, the real hardest hitting 145 er right here. This guy TKOs people. When I knock people out, they don't move. You're not Who the f is that guy? <laughs> who the f is that? You know d well who I am. Who the f is that? Who the f is that guy? <laughs> who the f is that? <laughs> who the f is that guy? <laughs> who the f is that? I don't, I'm looking around, I don't know what anyone else has for me around here. I might have to jump up and fucking drag Floyd Mayweather out of bed and see what the Oy. fuck he's at again. I mean, that's a classic. Like, after that, who the fuck is that guy went viral. And the fact that, like, you see Jeremy Stevens with Connor's mom with a picture, like, way down the line after all this and stuff like that. I don't know how far down the line it was. It was just classic. It was perfect. Just perfectly timed, perfectly placed, perfect response. <laughs> Fuck, man. I, just, I feel so bad for uh, Jerry Stevens, dude. Because that one is like, that will never go away. Like, I'm pretty sure he still to this day has fucking trolls on his, on his Instagram posts. He says it at the right time, you know what I'm saying? So it's good. And, 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 and great, great timing, and he does it good. That's awesome. But you know what? You got to give it to Stevens. That was a hot line he came in with. Does anybody else aside from Connor? Um, that's the end of it, but but Connor came over the top. I like that. Classic line by Connor. He was so good at delivering that line and just like, just like brushing off a leprechaun. It's just like, who the fuck is that? Like, it, it went really well. It was really, really good. And he planted, you know, you think about it now, he planted the seed for the Mayweather fight. Boom! And in six weeks, <laughs> I rock box him! <laughs> Four years ago, I fought in London at a place called the HMV Forum in front of about 500 people. Four years ago. Now here I am, six weeks out, about to quadruple my net worth with one half a fight. If there's ever a man that looks like a weasel, that's fucking it. I love, there's more to that. I forgot the guy's name, the weasel guy. Guys, but I just love how Connor ripped into him and kept ripping it, ripping into him, and it was good. <laughs> yeah, like I was like, I was like, damn, <laughs> talk shit to the execs now. I was like, that's pretty ballsy. <laughs> the, the funniest part of that clip for me was when he went after Espinosa, the, the the Showtime guy. You know, you see fighters go back and forth, but uh, he went beyond that, and uh, it was fun. You don't see that too often. That that. He didn't know how to react. He didn't know how to sit there. Do I take it? Do I not? That was fun. <laughs> he smacked him on top of the head like a whack-a-mole. <laughs> yeah, and fuck the Mayweathers. Fuck Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, I'm glad that Conor McGregor talked all that shit to him for so long. Good. He's too small. It's as simple as that. The power pretty to go scrawny, along bro. with the precision you will look absolutely skinny. demolish You're him. You're cutting too much he, weight. He, he has a few scrambles in him, and then he will break. Then it is. Then I'm going to pick Never. him apart. I'm going to be real with you. Um, a lot of times, I think you know, this Trezog is good, but it's more of his accent. It's more so his accent. You know what I mean? Like he's like, don't get me wrong. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not taking it away from him because he can. He can talk shit, but. You know, like I, I, um, I got a chance to go out to to Dublin for a while, and and, and I did like a, a seminar out there, and it's just a bunch of Connors. Like, <laughs> like I don't, like I, I swear I'm not trying to take no credit from him. Like he 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 is who he is. But when you go out there, you just realize like there, there's a fucking millions of Connors. Like they all talk shit. Classic Connor. Um... He is, he knows how to get under people's skin, but he also speaks facts, you know? Um, that's what Mendez had in him. He had a few scrambles and then he picked them off. So, classic on Man up and be yourself. Right. You're so, like, you're like a gazelle. You're a little bunched up together, hoping, hoping that no you get spared. Where's but I'm a lion. At? You knocked out midgets. I'm a lion in there and Short I'm gonna eat you people. alive. Your little gazelle friends are gonna be staring through the cage, looking at you getting, getting your carcass getting eaten alive, and they can do nothing. Out, huh, All they're gonna do is say, 
No training We're never going to cross this river again. The Diaz fight was my favorite. If you look at that video, you look at Diaz, he's balding. And it's very difficult to get under those guys' skin generally. He's bothered, and that was a great, great build-up. A lot, a lot of fun. Nate, Nate Diaz is impervious to trash talk. He's the king of trash talk. He's the king of not giving a fuck. <laughs> so, <laughs> Connor's mind games don't work on him. <laughs> You're not gonna say anything that's gonna bother him, but let alone he's not gonna like say much either. Back, he's just gonna go in there and fuck you up and expect. And you have to expect you're going five rounds. Who's your training partners? And uh, you know what I mean. And especially the touch butt. Like after the touch butt. Nothing Connor said, like, kind of uh, beat him in, in that one. That's I, I think that's probably the only time. That's the only time. To me, that's the only time Connor like never didn't win a uh, you know like a conference like that. It was over after that. Touch butt was funny. Like that's another thing. Like that'll never disappear. Now Connor, he comes with it, and he, he sounds he sounds full of bravado and confidence. So that's why it's good, and he has great timing. Khabib, uh, salam alaikum. And uh, Connor, congrats on uh, proper 12. Thank you, sir. Could we uh, get an official prediction on the fight? Uh, you cannot say salam alaikum and congrats about whiskey. Ooh, slap him then. Do something about it. What are you going to do about that? Is that the disrespect in here? Do something then, I just shut your mouth. Fucking fool you. Let's, uh, let's Backwards back, cunt. Thanks, Connor. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Assalamu alaikum alaikum. I, I think that's disrespectful. Yeah, it's disrespectful, but I mean, that's what you can expect out of Conor McGregor. I don't know why people would think that there's like some kind of line that Conor McGregor won't cross, especially when it comes to trash talk. Uh, it's not, there's like not even any point being offended by him at this point. <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> that's the, my favorite part. Oh. Those press conferences with Khabib were really bad. Like, he got really personal and very religious. And personal, yeah, but religious is, like, something you don't you don't talk about. You leave that be, you know? There you go. Again, um, what we touched on, it's a different feel, different vibe. Um, and it's everything else, he looks in control. This one, he seems to be unraveling. It's a little different. I'm distasteful, but, hey, you know what? He felt the need to say it and it worked for him. So you know what? He can do it. I wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have recommended any of my friends and family have done that. He was drunk that night, right? Yeah, he was drunk. <laughs> All I know is that I will be there December 12th, like I always am there. People are always saying about the talk and I talk and I talk and I talk, but guess fucking what? I back it up. I back it up. Him talking trash and people, people get mad and people want to see him fail. And he says, keep on hating. I'm not gonna keep on succeeding. It works for him. I think that I think that's better for him. You know, um, he's overcome a lot and he's made it to the top at one point. And now he's trying to fight his way back to the top. So now, you know, this is a great another this that quote right there will be another great quote for him to use. Yeah, there's that control again. There's that certainty, that confidence, that uh you know, that's his world. He's 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 sitting there in control. Yep, the last one, man. That's what that's what made him him. He's always he's always said what the fuck he's gonna do most of the time. At least eighty percent of the time, he was always right. That's a that that's a that's a McGregor. He did back it up, so that's why I feel like he's got he got a lot of respect out of it because he did back it up every time. <laughs> Mostly every time. That's what makes Connor like so incredibly famous, right? Is that he talks a lot, he attracts a ton of attention, he's a really good trash talker, and then he backs it up. So that is what has made him, you know, transcend the sport. Fight, 